What's up, everybody? It's Camp and Randy here, theridgestore.com. Have my wife behind the camera today. We were uh, reached out to by a company that makes um, a screensaver. <laughs> Passport Pilot and Ridgeline, and um, so they sent me a tester to put on here. So we're gonna film it, and they want a video uh, in return to get my thoughts on this thing. So comes in here, take it out, and it came in another pack like this. And hold on, I, missed, I lost something. Hold on. So, okay, it's in here. So it comes in this little package here like this. Um, it says pilot, but it's the same. And that's it. And of course, it's made in China. So I'm sorry it's not American made. I try my hardest to get American products for you guys. Um, but we're going to try it out here. Instructions say uh, check the size, make sure it uh, is correct. Use an alcohol wipe, sticky paper, um, then peel off, push it on there, and then it should be good to go. Uh, they also gave us. Um, the screen protector accessory so we'll open that check that out they gave us a microfiber cloth we'll check that and they gave us a little squeegee all right so we'll put that over there of course we're in her car and i don't have a knife open it up here and we have more screen protector accessories and then it looks just like a uh, cell phone screen. And it looks like it has two sides to it. This says uh, one, peel off this max with this sticker. All right, so it looks like it's going to go on here like that. Looks like it fits, okay. Let's see what's inside the screen protector kits. All right, that's the sticky tab. Another microfiber towel, another alcohol. Let's see what we got in the other one. This one seems like it has less in it. All right, more sticky tabs. Okay, guide sticker. It says guide sticker on here. Let me check the instructions and see what it says for guide sticker. Yeah, I guess maybe you put the guide stickers when you go to test fit it. Well, it looks like it fits perfectly on the bottom. So it's it's perfectly contoured to the bottom. So I think if I place it, if you guys look right here at the bottom, it's perfectly contoured as well as the top. So I think we'll be good to go on there. That's a nice fit, that's amazing. All right, put that up there. I am going to uh, shut the screen off. If you hit that three times, your screen will go off while the truck's running. Well, it's supposed to until I guess I touch it. So we're gonna try to get everything off of here lint-wise. is irritate me it should when you get out of your car and shut the door it should turn it off all right let's see if she got it i actually like these dusty things better and i'll do the other one as well
if this comes out garbage, it's probably going to be 100% my fault. There's actually a uh, lint blowing around inside this car. I can actually see it as I get done. All right, nobody move. Nobody breathe. Turn this thing on here. Probably gonna be garbage. All right, let's see what it does. Uh, looks like it's going. All right, so seriously, after probably five times of putting this on, we got it. However, I still have this I can't get. So placement is everything on this. Yeah, it's doing it over here too. All right, it has been almost two weeks with the screen protector on here. And I'm pretty happy with it. I've had to move it a couple times because it is an exact fit. So if you get it too close down to this edge, you'll get some, uh, I guess, air bubbles. If you just lift it up and I'm sorry, man, I got an EXL and I just, there's so much <laughs> lint on it. It actually has reduction uh of lint i've noticed that since i put it on so i don't know if it has an anti-static thing on there but there's less lint on it but uh yeah i'm pretty happy with it i will list it on the ridge store you guys can get it um for your infotainment system and i think that's about it enjoy hope you guys are having a great week and as always enjoy those adventures